Right, what we'll look at doing now is um, now that that's all skived down um, and we've got it so you can near enough see through the edge. Sorry, guys. Um, basically, so when it sits together like that. As you can see, I think, it, when I come to put the other welt on, you won't even notice this, it'll just feather right in, but it'll just lift that back up a little bit and it'll help when you push the knife in to gain some of that retention. And that, I'll do the same with the other bit of the welt and another little bit and it'll all contour down and it'll just, you know, because as it gets thinner, it just helps with the retention of the knife when it goes in. It, when, when you learn to do it properly, I mean, you, you will need the strap, but, you know, if you can get it done properly with your welts, if you use this type of sheath, um, you know, you get a good bit of it from there, the retention from there as well. So, what we're doing now is we're looking at getting this strap on. <laughs> Putting the strap on. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> right, the retention strap's got to be sewn to the sheep. <laughs> oh dear. Um, we're also going to need to skive this down as well. So um, we'll take that off and uh, I'll show you how I go about doing this. First of all I'm going to figure out we get a little little paintbrush little bit of water we'll go just gently dampen the the edge we'll get a freaking iron which I have quite a few ones some you know that I like and and we'll figure out roughly Yeah, that'll be alright. Right, so we'll get the pricking iron. Okay. Prick the holes. You can see some little diamond holes. Um, like that. And then we'll get the other pricking irons. I'll get the overstitch wheel and mark see they're just out of sequence there so what we'll do is we'll pick the centre hole and uh, like that and what we'll do is we'll take actually that'll be alright we'll take the, the double pricking iron and we'll We'll mark them holes. What we'll need to do here is we'll get the little single stitch groover. We'll marry those to the, the ends. Put another little groove in. Not that it's really needed because it's at the back, but it's something I just get used to doing. It's all practice at the end of the day. What we'll do is we'll mark. We'll mark these out as well. Sorry if the camera's shaking all over the shop. Okay, so what we have now is the holes bricked. And I've done these first for a reason. Because I'm now going to skive, skive this down with my little paring knife. And um, it's easier to do the holes first, prick the holes first, um, than it is to do it after when it's all going to be thin here. So, and the reason why I'm doing this is because if we have that in the back there like that now, it looks great like that, but then when you come round here and you look, you've got a big thick chunk of leather in the back, 
it's not the best when you bring this round it's not going to be the best inside neither so what we'll do is we'll contour that down we'll skive that down to half and then we'll have it you know back to its normal thickness and it'll just sit better at the right angle inside right so we'll contour this off now take your time when you're doing this just like before if you slip with this you'll be doing a new strap Okay, take our round knife, we'll trim this up. On the sides. And then we'll be back to where we started all neat again. As you can see, I can just do that, just a little bit more. I don't want to go too much more than that. Because you still want the strength. Okay, that should be ideal. Perfect. I'm happy with that. Okay. Just a little bit off that corner just to even it out. Just a slight bit. There we go. As you can see now, I hope, it's all equal. There's your original thickness, and there's what I've done to it now. And that'll sit now at that nice angle. So when it comes to wrap round, yeah, you can see a bit better there now. Um, when it's up against the leather here now, you'll see what I mean as well. You know, you haven't got that big, big chunk there anymore. Um, it'll just sit a lot better at the back. Right, so what we need to do now is oh no we can't yet um, I've got it prepared anyway we're at a stage now where it's getting to a point where I'll need to start figuring out the welts but it's all getting ready for dyeing really now um, there's not a lot more I can do, no gluing or nothing until this is all dyed. I'm just waiting on the customer as well um, to verify which colour he wants. Sometimes I'll do that just to make sure. After building it and looking at the knife, if I'm not sure, I'll always make a recommendation. If they want to stick with that colour, fine. If not, you know, I'll change it. But sometimes I like to ask before I go ahead with that, just in case. You know, it's no good me dyeing it. And then he says, oh no, I, you know, because <laughs> I can't undo the dye. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Okay, so what I could do, I can just uh, scrub the edges off. Mm. Yeah, we'll take it from there. We'll just take this off now. We'll go from there. Definitely need sharpening this one. That's better. Using number four for now. Let's go back to the just two ticks. That's much better. Okay. Right, let's. Lassies. Ladies, um, yeah, that's it for now. And then we've got a doy. Just need to wait for him to get back to me, like I say, and then uh, I can do it. And uh, I could punch the holes for these as well. I could punch the holes for these, but it's, this is be actually no. It's better done. This is better done once it's glued on the back. 
and then just punch through use your stitch groove then to groove in the square um, around the holes and then we're away with that okay so people just uh, do a dry assembly of this and um, we can see where we've got to if I'll just get a little I'll be able to show you and that's what we'll be like And this is where we've got to at the minute. Still a lot of work to do this year to get it to more standard, but um, it's water here. It's the sweating today. Um, I shall give it all a rub down with um, a product called. I'll just clean some of that up. It's a deglazer. I'll, I'll just uh, give it a good wipe down and. Uh, probably put a bit of dye prep on it because it's had so much oils off my hands and uh, I'll get it all dyed up especially if he wants to go for a lighter colour so that's it for now guys um, what I'll probably do now is while I'm waiting on him I'll make a start on the next one and uh, oh while I'm here um, this is something else that I'll do a lot of as well uh, excuse me um, I do a lot of restoration as well as um, the sheaths, the dog stuff and iPad cases and phone cases, pouches and uh, everything else. Um, but I also do quite a bit of this, I do uh, quite a bit for an antique. Um, anyway, um, this is, I've had this come in and he wants me to bring this back to life, he's had this quite a few years and uh, I might be have to bring you along with this as well and um, he wants this extending so I'm going to have to he wants it re the same as uh, his gun pouch that he uses and uh, it definitely needs rejuvenating this and this is something I do a lot as well um, so maybe I can bring you along for the restoration of this and we'll put some life back into it and we'll get it back to where it should be it's a great bit of kit um, it's a shame a lot of these things get thrown out, thrown in the bin I mean for him to go and reboil this now it would cost him quite a bit. Um, I'll soil and um, clean all this up and I'll put him a new buckle on and uh, we'll extend it to the length that he needs. We'll get rid of these old rivets and uh, we'll bring it all back to life and we'll have it looking like a brand new, well it will be brand new when I've finished. Um, I'll still age little bits here and there and have it look how it looks but it's a different colour. Anyway, let me rambling again. Um, I'll bring you along for that I, I think and uh, I'll show you how I go about restoring these type of things so for now until the next time lads and ladies uh, take care of yourself all and uh, I'd like to thank you again for the for the comments I get and um, for the, the, the few new subscribers that have that, that have come along you know I'm trying my best for this I'm trying to share my knowledge with you all and um, like I said it does take a lot of time up and stuff like this but you know, if I can pass some of this on, this this dying trade, even better. Such a great thing, and with the knives. So take care. I'll see. Uh, speak to you all soon, Lee.